Here's a tip for the law of sines that a lot of times you don't see in a textbook. If you are given a triangle, and let's say this is going to be a angle, so let's say 42 degrees, you're getting another degree, which is 37 degrees, and then you're giving this side length, which is five, and we want to be able to find this side length. Well, one thing that we don't see a lot about in the textbooks is whenever you're applying the law of sines, always make your unknown in the numerator. So for instance, we can write the ratio here of x over a sine of 37 degrees is equal to five over the sine of 42 degrees. Right, so now all I simply need to do is multiply a sine of 37 degrees on both sides and I can go and solve for x. Now, that is not going to be the same process though for every single triangle. For instance, when you have the ambiguous case and let's say we have a 42 degrees over here, this is still five, but let's say this number is seven and we want to be able to figure out what this angle is and let's call this angle B. Well now, I don't wanna use this ratio of the law of sines. You could, it's just gonna add some extra steps. So what I always tell my students is, whatever your unknown is, always put that in the numerator because the law of sines works like this as well as inverted. So in this case, I would just have the sine of B over seven is equal to the sine of 42 degrees over five. Now, all I simply need to do is multiply by seven on both sides and take the sine inverse and I can solve for B. 